Hi folks, Sarah Fletcher here, back for week two of our Mental Health Monday Talks. Uh, last week we talked about having a good schedule and routine in place in our lives and how that helps our mental health. Most importantly, I talked about how important it is to abide in Christ, about just spending time with Him day in and day out and resting in Him and He will develop those fruit of the Spirit in us. Folks, have you been doing that this week? Have you been working on having a good, healthy routine? And have you been working on abiding in Him? I hope you've been working on that. Uh, if not, I would challenge you to work on that this week, to really spend time with Him and just to look at your schedule and how you can make some changes in it that are gonna be healthy for you. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about some physical aspects of our health that have a huge impact on our mental health. Believe it or not, the things that we do with our body has a huge impact on the way we feel mentally. You can't separate the two. The two are very much mixed together. So I just have a few key points I wanna talk about today that will continue to help you improve your mental health. Especially during this time, it's even that much more important to take some of these uh, pieces of advice and apply them. Because some of these things we naturally do when we're in our, um, kind of usual time and space or usual routines. It's a little different right now though, so I just want to suggest a few things to you to make sure that you're working on. The first thing that I'm going to recommend to you is that every day, or almost every day, you get up, take the time to get cleaned up and get dressed for the day. It's fine to have some days where you just stay in your jammies or in sweats for the day. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And if you enjoy that day in and day out, that's okay. But for most people, when they do that day in and day out, they start to not feel very good. There is a little bit of truth to the saying, look good, feel good, right? It's okay to take the time every day, even if you have nowhere to go, it's okay to still take the time to get dressed, uh, do your hair, please brush your teeth, take care of your hygiene that way. Ladies, put makeup on if you want. Take some time, get yourself ready for the day, even when there's nowhere to go. Uh, another really important thing to do, and we all know this, but it's again harder right now, I think. Take the time to eat well and to drink lots of water. We've all heard that, we all know that. I think times like this when we're home even more, uh, or those of us that maybe struggle with emotional eating or that sort of thing, it's harder right now. You know, we're home more, it's easy to feel bored and just go, oh, what's in the fridge? Out of boredom as opposed to out of, hung out of hunger. So I just challenge you to watch what you're eating. Make sure you're getting you know, your proper intake of fruits and vegetables and all that sort of thing. And drink lots of water. It has a huge impact on the way our body feels. You now, if you want to drink coffee and pop, that's fine. But don't forget water in your diet as well. It's really important. Another thing I want to challenge you on is to exercise. Folks, I know not very many people like to do it, but we all know that it's hugely beneficial. And I challenge each of you to not say that you don't have the time for that or that you're not able to do that. And no matter your age, there's all kinds of various workouts and modifications that we can do that we can handle at just about any age. So I challenge you, I know we can't go to the gym right now, but you can work out from home, you can get outside and, and go for a run or for a bike ride or go for a walk. It's kind of one of the benefits of living here in the country. We can still have some space where we can have isolation outside, but we can still get out and get some exercise or exercise in your own home. But I really challenge you to exercise. It has such an amazing benefit on your mental health. I know personally on the days that I get up and I work out, I feel so much better throughout the day. I'm more patient with my children. Um, mentally, my mind is just in a better place. I feel more focused. It makes a huge difference when I take the time to exercise. So I would challenge you to do that. Another thing that I would really encourage each of you to do is to get outside every day. Get out, get some fresh air, get some sunlight. Uh, again, I know we're in isolation, but that doesn't mean that you can't open up your door, sit out on your steps, or if you have a deck, sit out on your deck, sit out on your lawn. Like I said before, go out for a walk. Just get out, get some fresh air. Even if it's just 15 minutes, half an hour a day, that will be of great benefit to you. Get out, get some fresh air. Enjoy the nature around you. Enjoy the beautiful world that God has created. Just soak some of that in and enjoy that. Uh, another quick thing, Take time to rest each day. I'm not talking about sleeping, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm talking about just sitting and resting and relaxing. 
What do you do to sit down and rest and have fun? It's physical rest, but it also may be enjoyable for your mind. It lifts your spirits. I One of the things I enjoy reading, I really love to read. I love to sit down and read a good book. I love to sit and play board games, card games with friends or with my family. Those are some of the ways that I enjoy resting. What are the ways that you enjoy resting? Make sure you're taking the time to do that. One last thing I want to talk about is sleep. We have to sleep well in order to take good care of our physical bodies. And we have to sleep well in order to take good care of our mental health. Folks, again, I know we're at home. It can feel easier to stay up later, get less sleep, because we don't have anywhere that we need to go the next day. But that is very tiring on our mental health. I really challenge you to look at how much sleep do you need to function ideally. Right? For me, I try to be asleep by about 11 each night and get up somewhere around 6.30. That's ideal for me. That gives me the sleep that I need to function well and to enjoy my day. I don't know about you, but I know for me, when I'm tired, everything feels worse. Right? You know, we're tired, we're more emotional. Things that really weren't a problem before all of a sudden seem like they are mountains that we need to climb. Take the time. Find that sleep routine that works for you and take the time to do it. Uh, before I wrap up today, I just have a passage of scripture that I want to share with you. This is one of my favorite passages, one of many. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. This is a very well-known passage. I'm reading in Philippians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4. It says this, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you all. Folks, I pray that you feel God's peace. I pray that you, I pray that you felt God's presence in a special way, and that you're experiencing his peace. Take the time to do these things that we've been talking about on Mondays, and I know you will continue to experience more and more joy and peace and health and happiness in your life. God bless you. I'll see you all next week.